Hi, my name is Kian Fernandez. Today for homework assignment number one, I want to talk to you about the primary source I found towards the end of chapter two. It's on page S2-9 if you want to follow along. Here's Pocahontas. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just kidding. I really mean this. But admit it, when we think about Pocahontas, we think of the Disney version, like this. Or in my case, like this. Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? <laughs> Yeah, that's definitely how I remember Pocahontas. I don't know about you. But anyways, if you look down on your page or here on the screen, this portrait of Pocahontas is actually the only one that was made when she was alive. The Virginia Company of London actually commissioned a Dutch-German artist named Simon van de Pass, which he sketched and then Compton Holland engraved it. Now, if you also look below her portrait, there is a English inscription which basically translates the Latin that surrounds her portrait. It says that she is a converted Christian. She is married to John Rolfe, okay, not John Smith, John Rolfe. And that she's also the daughter to, forgive me, but I'm totally going to butcher this, Emperor of Atenoskomau? Yeah. Anyways, it also says that she is 21, but at the time, she was probably 19 years old. So how does Pocahontas' portrait have to do with anything today? How is it even relevant to today? If you think about it, it's pretty simple, because back then, the Virginia Company of London basically used her as a living, breathing, walking advertisement. They even paid for her to go to England, and her family and her like six attendants to just convince these English investors to send back money and to forget about the old rumors that they heard about the, the harsh winters and the starvation and the, the frequent hostilities that they would have around the surrounding areas. So back then, she had like the name and like the nobility. And today we have celebrities. Celebrities are the closest thing to nobility that we have now. Celebrities today are used the same way. They are sent other places to campaign about things. Um, they have commercials, advertisements online, on television. And their name and their face just promotes the brand and the company, just like how Pocahontas did back then. So her portrait is just as relevant as it was then as it is today. Unfortunately, this trip was Pocahontas' last. In 1617, a year later, she died from smallpox and was buried there in England. While John Rolfe decided to go back to Virginia, he also decided to leave their son Thomas behind for his family to raise and educate. Their campaign and their promotion was very successful for the Virginia Company. Hence, thousands came to Jamestown, and ultimately, they burned most of the woods and planted tobacco.